Here you can see the optic disc pit and the macular hole. I am doing the core vitrectomy. And after doing the core vitrectomy, I am injecting triamcinolone acetate to stain the posterior hyaloid. You can see posterior hyaloid is stained in shape of flower petals. I am trying to detach the posterior hyaloid, but it is a bit difficult. I tried to detach as much posterior hyaloid as possible and then did the air fluid exchange. I usually stain the ILM with brilliant blue green dye under the air to get a good stain, so here I am injecting the dye. With the help of a finis loop, I am trying to get a temporal flap for the secondary macular hole that is caused by the optic disc pit. While making the temporal flap I tried once again and this time I was successful in detaching the posterior hyaloid. So sometimes you have to wait to detach the posterior hyaloid and my air fluid exchange helped me and here you can see it is fully detached. Here you can see that the Viterus is completely plugged in the optic disc pit. I am trying to remove this viterous plug, but as you can see, I was unable to do so. So I decided to remove all the posterior hyaloid that has been detached. Here you can see a thread like tissue of viterus that has plugged the optic disc pit. I am trying to pull it out, but it is not coming out. as it is very strong, so I decided to just trim it and not to plug the pit with a punctal plug. Here I am fashioning the temporal flap. I am holding the temporal flap with the ILM forceps and I am just flattening it over the macular hole. Now I am injecting the viscoelastic gel just to iron the flap. Here you can see that with the fluctuations of fluid the vitreous plug sucks in and sucks out so it a very important and new finding. Now I am doing the air fluid exchange and will inject the SF6 gas and that's all. 